Ho! We are back with another Tristan Sports Week video. Yes! we It's finally here, but now it's the month of May. Last month, it was in April, Tristan Sports Week, because of virtual drag racing. It's finally back. Glad to be back here on YouTube and with this show again. But we got some thrilling news. We are getting close to the uh, end of the pandemic right now. What is up, everybody? Uh, around the world and around here in the U.S., uh, welcome back to Tristan Sports Week. Yes, we have a lot, lots of news to talk about. Sports is coming back from the dead again, once again. Throw all that virtual simulators and all that stuff away. Um, it's time to get back in business for real. If you haven't heard on the news, on your latest news whatsoever, uh, back in L.A., MLB is thinking about going back and playing baseball without, but without fans. And that's what's all what we're going to talk about right now. But this week, we're going to talk about uh, some only motor racing, but not sports as well. Uh, that's all been covered from the news. Uh, I don't think I need to do any of that. But just motor racing for right now. We got some shocking news. We got some thrilling news. We got both of them. Let's talk about right now. And first up um, on the list is NASCAR. Yes. Thrilling news about NASCAR. Well, NASCAR. Okay. Let's talk about NASCAR for a minute. All right. Now, um, this was just updated by Eric Estep on Instagram and YouTube as well. Big thanks to him and David Land as well. They've been covering all the stories about it. you. Probably heard from them. If you haven't gone to um, go to if you haven't checked their channel and gone subscribe to them, please do so. I won't have a link in the description. Just go search up David Land and Eric Estep on YouTube, please, and then subscribe to them as well. Fantastic YouTubers. But here we go. Enough chit chat of that. NASCAR is returning back to Darlington, but this time without fans. There will be three races hosted. For the month of May. All three races in a row. There will be two races at Darlington and Charlotte. If you haven't heard from Eric Estep from Out of the Groove yesterday. Where he made two videos about Chicagoland, uh, Richmond, and Sonoma. They won't be run on the 2020 schedule. So, uh, you probably heard from him. And uh, my biggest concerning part is probably about television. So I don't know about television. I think maybe we'll have Mike Joy and Jeff Gordon and all the pit reporters there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about also the six feet, stand, uh, six feet social distancing thing. I don't know if that's going to happen because that's what's going to happen in IndyCar. But n I don't know about NASCAR. I don't know if they developed that issue yet. But right now, that's another thing we'll talk about later on about um, with IndyCar, actually. But right now, next up, um, there will be... And also, there's going to be a lot of uh, controversy about NASCAR, I believe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I just hear all the rumors about that. It's finally here. I cannot wait to see the races itself. iRacing was cool, but yeah, it's time to go back to real racing once again. Right now, and now next up is going to be just one interesting news that was nascar also that was nascar for you next up is and it is going we're going to talk about the nhra 2021 season right now fantastic news i didn't um point this out in my uh, my last couple videos i believe but uh i'm gonna have to point out if i did if i did then um don't yell at me in comments i'll well just yell at me in the comments actually yell at me in the comment section if i did or did did do this update did this news update or whatnot but anyway NHRA 2021, thrilling news, thrilling news, one of my favorite news of all time. Uh, I don't know if I did this before, but anyway, I'll just do it again. Powerade is coming back to the NHRA. Yes, the it's going to be now the title sponsor once again. It was a title sponsor, it used to be a, be it began, the, the title sponsor Powerade began in 2002, to and then it ended its career in 2007. And now, once again, for 2021, it's coming back. Uh, Mel Yellow, get out of here. Mel Yellow, you're gone. Um, it's out of here. I'm, I don't know if the fans are happy about that, but I am too. Because uh, Powerade is one of my favorite drinks. I actually had a Powerade drink uh, yesterday, the same version, the blue version. The blue Powerade version, one of my favorite drinks to drink. It, it was. It's really cool. I love Powerade. It's... Uh, it, I don't know if uh, the fans are excited about that, but I, I can't wait to see Powerade once again. It, it's it been going on for like six years, that uh, title sponsor. 
um, from 2002 to 2007. Can't wait to see it once again. I can't wait to see the reaction on the fans' face at NHRA Drag Racing um, once once again. But right now, there's only one th uh, simple problem about NHRA Drag Racing I do want to cover that hasn't been covered since 2008 or 9, I believe, since Full Throttle Drag Racing, since that was 2008 and 2009, but not 2007, though. Because 2007 was the last year for the NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series. And by the way... That was actually the last video game for that year, and that when that and that was the year that video game came out for the countdown to the championship, which I did mention in my last video. But right now, the only part about that is that's missing is no Gary Selzy or Selzy says. That's something we gotta talk about. I don't think I mentioned in um in my la I don't think I mentioned this in my last video, but if the since Powerade is coming back, but there will be no Gary Selzy because he is retired. And he's been retired for a while now. He retired back in 2009. And that is kind of sad. That is kind of sad. I really miss Gary Selzy, the funny car driver. He was a top fuel uh, titleist in a funny car, 2005 funny car titleist when he beat John Force in the finals at Pomona uh, that year. But really sad for um, all the Sel Gary Selzy fans if they want to see... if. I hope he knows that. I hope Gary Selzy knows that NHRA is go and Powerade's coming back, um, are both coming back once again. So basically, that's fantastic news. But no, Selzy says I really miss Gary Selzy. I mean, truly, I wish Gary Selzy, you're watching this. Please, uh, please come back. I I really miss you, man. I I wish you were back in Funny Car, man. I I just. I just wish Gary Selzy was back in Funny Car Game because he was great in Top Fuel. I don't know how he dominated in Top Fuel because he's a three-time Top Fuel titleist and a Funny Car titleist from 2005. He is one of the funniest guys in the world. I, I, I just want, I wish Gary Selzy was back. I know he's retired because of family and all, but believe me, Gary Selzy, you're a nice guy. I, My mom and dad loved, um, used to love and, and enjoy your, your Selzy Says show. All the time, I used to too. I used to too. Um, I used to love your show too. But you know, that's out of the window. Gary Selzy retired. I don't know. I mean, you know, there will be somebody out there to probably take his place or whatnot. But anyway, enough of NHRA. That's NHRA for you. Next up is sad news for Formula One. Also, by the way, Formula One is re um, returning to NH. Um, I mean, little. little Formula One is returning to the track this year, but kind of a translated schedule and whatnot. Basically, Formula One is coming back to the sport um, once again. They'll probably be somewhere around June or July, I believe. But the first race will be in Austria uh, for the Austrian Grand Prix. The, and then they'll finish up with the Asian rounds and the American America's rounds, which mean they're coming to Mexico City for the Mexican Grand Prix and the United States Grand Prix for the final race at Circuit of the Americas. And you probably guessed it on Instagram. You probably know it, fans. Next year, 2021, no Circuit of the Americas for the United States Grand Prix. It's going to be a new track development. This was all over on social media. Um, the track develop will be in my. The track will be hosted in Miami, Florida, around the Miami Dolphins Stadium. That is going to be something to see. I, I cannot wait to see this track. I mean, I do know, um, I think probably the last race, I think the last motorsport that was held in Miami, it wasn't a Formula 1 race. It was probably around the Season 1 of Formula E. Yes, Formula E did host one race there. It wasn't, I think it was around the Miami Dolphins Stadium. The sa I think the same layout. I don't know, but I keep getting that feeling that it, they're doing the same thing like Formula E does, but a little differently because they're trying to do like an oval course layout or something. But yeah, I don't think I don't want to say that. But but anyway, another sh that was that was th that's a nice that's a really exciting news. Um, even though it's gonna get hot down there, it's probably doing to probably doing it in the summer months like they usually do in somewhere in July or something. But anyway, so and right now we have some shocking news. Of Formula One, this was uh, this was posted on Instagram from Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel um noted that the team uh, and I have realized that there are, is no longer a common desire to stay together. I will take the time I need to reflect on what really matters. And note, Sebastian Vettel. Okay, so I'm really. 
confused on this. I mean, Formula One and Sebastian Vettel. I mean, Sebastian Vettel's... Now, if you don't know who in the heck is Sebastian Vettel is, well, he's a Ferrari F1 driver. He actually ran for Ferrari for many years now, and he also was the guy that drove um, his rookie... Uh, that had his rookie win in Italy in 2008 with that shocking win um, in an Italian car when he drove for Scuderia Toro Rosso that year. Now, basically, does this mean he's um, switching from Ferrari to another team, or is he retiring? I don't know. I'm really confused about this, guys. But basically, that is one shocking news I would love to um, hear about from you guys. But basically, I don't know what uh, what to say on that. A lot of news has been developing for Formula 1. I, I haven't been able to pen, pay attention to it, guys, because I've been super busy with uh, stuff. But anyway, enough Formula 1. Finally, the last um, note on our list, um, last bucket list of the day, is IndyCar. One, o only one news for IndyCar, or actually two. I didn't mention this um, before. IndyCar is thinking about, uh, IndyCar is coming back to, um, same thing that, uh, since I mentioned about NASCAR. Same thing to IndyCar. IndyCar is coming back, but racing at Texas Motor Speedway. Thrilling news. Thrilling news. But uh, if you haven't met, uh, if you haven't seen David Land's video, he mentioned it on his video about uh, the uh, the concerns about Texas Motor Speedway returning in the month of June or July. That's going to be um, something to watch out for because of the social, they're also doing, keeping an eye on the social distancing, six feet standing away business deal. So I'm probably worried about that as well because I, what I'm worried about is also with not only Formula One but NASCAR and IndyCar, what about the pit stops? What about the pit stops? That's one thing I've, uh, I'm trying to figure out, like how are they even going to do pit stops? Because I, I do remember they did um, something about a it, this was actually from Formula One uh, point of view when they did um, the translation video for the ske translating schedule video uh, a couple months ago, about a month ago I should say, around April something of 2020 this year. But anyway, they did also some mention something in the video, something about a, uh, a safety device or something they're going to plan on building um, so they can so they can stand back. But... I don't know how that will affect pit lane. I mean, like, how are they even going to do pit stops? Like, you, because in pit stops, you you don't, you're, it's a time thing. You don't even have uh, time to, to, for one person to get one thing done. I mean, really? Like, I, I just don't understand how are they going to do it. So, like, what are they supposed to do? Like, uh, like, wear the, like, wear fire suits or something? I mean, I don't know what what's on their minds and what the safety device is. I'm not sure. Nobody knows, really. Like, and that's the same thing what IndyCar is doing, and that and I don't think NASCAR is doing as well. I don't know if NASCAR is doing it as well. I'm not sure what's going on because this is going to probably con concerning me and probably concerning the drivers as well. I believe. But anyway, back to IndyCar. IndyCar. This was posted by Graham Rahal on Instagram. Graham Rahal is fired up at, and will be is now at the shop right now. He's fired up and his team is back with him as well working on the race car to get ready for Texas the Texas race. Now, Graham Graham Rahal, I got to mention, Graham Rahal, how is going to how is his um how is Courtney Force um his his uh, girlfriend or wife are um, going to feel about this. I mean, you know, she's still in the, she's now retired from NHRA drag racing, but basically, I don't know how she's going to feel about this when he's when she sees him in the in the car. I mean, I that really kind of concerns me because basically for IndyCar coming back with this pandemic going around with the health going with the health issues going around but basically I'm not sure if this is really going to I don't I know it's going to happen but I don't know what what will happen next during the race or after the race cuz truly I'm not I'm really really worried about what's going to happen cuz you know like I mentioned about the safety devices plus speaking of which NHRA was supposed to um, return is probably going to think about returning in July of this year now, that really also worries me. Like, we don't even know when this pandemic's going to end. I mean, really, guys, you got to you gotta really think about what you're doing. I hope you're, I hope you're right about this, because basically, 
we don't even know when this pandemic's going to end. I mean, I know it's on the road to recovery right now because of this pandemic, but basically, I'm not sure what's going to happen. So, I don't know. I mean, like, basically, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not a doctor because um, basically, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, guys, really. That's I, I, my guess, my prediction. But I do think that they really need to do something like a the safety device for NASCAR because basically I'm worried about them as well. They didn't mention anything about safety devices or anything. But there is one sport I am thinking about. I, I'm hoping that will return to the sport is the uh, ARCA series. The ARCA series, the uh, the K&N Pro West series, and all those other little leaguers, um, which I like to call them in motor racing. But yeah, I mean... I'm worried about them too. I didn't hear any news about that really, because um, if you have, if you have, real, if you guys heard the new, any news about that, please post a comment below. I would appreciate it. But anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video and the show, uh, this episode of Tristan Sports Week from virtual to racetrack. You know, you'll you'll guess it in the title, I believe. I didn't say that in the beginning. I believe. I don't know. I keep forget now. <laughs> but anyway, um. Uh, that's gonna end it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the session, to the new to the video and the show. Please, um, um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much, um, guys, and stay safe, um, out there and enjoy the racing. Oh, I can't wait to see some racing again. Um, pretty, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.